What's up guys, Nathan from Firestorm Gaming here, and I am back with another devlog for my ultra-wide mod for Lethal Company. So, exciting news for you guys, the bugs are fixed, the game is playable, and there's a lot of customizable options, so in this video I'm just going to walk, uh, walk you guys through how to install it, and uh, show you some gameplay of it working, and how to configure it, and all that. Um, I tried posting it a couple days ago, and people seemed a bit confused on how to install it because they have never installed mod before. So I uh, will jump right into it here. So basically the first thing you're going to need is Bepinex. So you're going to want to go to the link in the description. I will provide the GitHub link and you're going to want to get this Bepinex pack. Um, you can either get it from GitHub or one of the mod sites. It's posted in, in both areas. But download this Bepinex zip file and then go into it. And then you're going to see this folder, uh, Bepinex pack. Go into there and it's in this folder that uh, you're going to see a folder called Bepinex and then a, desk, a doorstop config and a WinHttp file. So you're uh, going to want to copy all of these, all three, and then you're going to want to navigate to your Lethal Company installation folder. So for me, that is uh, Steam Apps Common Lethal Company. And then in this folder, you don't have to go into data, just Steam Apps Common Lethal Company. You're going to paste that stuff from the Bepinex pack. So these three files should be pasted into the same folder that has lethalcompany.exe. And what you're going to want to do is run the game. And then you should see this terminal pop up before it launches. Okay. I'm just going to load into the menu to be safe. But uh, this stuff should be generated. So I quit, go into the Bepinex folder within the Lethal Company. So Lethal Company, Bepinex. Then you should see a couple different folders. There's one called Config, um, Core, Patches, Plugins, Log Output. So what you're going to want to do is go into the Plugins folder. So now we're at Lethal Company Bepinex Plugins. And this folder is where you want to take the mod and paste the DLL. So download my mod. Go, uh, you're going to see, it's going to be like a zip file or something. And you're going to want to go into it. And you're going to see four things in there. There's going to be uh, a Bepinex folder, icon, manifest, and readme. Don't worry about those three, all you got to worry about is the is the folder, the Bepinex folder. So go in there and then go into the plugins and then you'll find lethally wide DLL. Now you copy this, go back to the game directory plugins folder here and then paste it into there. And now um, what you're going to want to do is run the game again. And then it says here, one plug in to load in the console, loading lethally wide 1.0. And at this point, uh, the mod has generated a configuration file for you to go change your stuff. Now at that point, the mod will work. Um, It'll work. You can load in and start playing. Have fun, guys. But if you want some customizability, I will go through how to configure that right now. So after you launch the game again with the mod in there, uh, go back out of the plugins folder. And then um, you can close the folder. You can close the zip file that you downloaded for the mod. You don't need that anymore. And so you you go back to Lethal Company, Bepinex, and this 
a display where you see all the con like the folder, the config, the plugins, all that. Go to config, and then you should see something called lethallywide.cfg. Double click that and open it with Notepad or any other text editor. Um, and then you'll see a bunch of shit here, and I'll explain what it is. It's it looks like a lot, but uh, half of this shit you don't even have to you don't even have to worry about. So uh, this first section up here, FOV, basically it says whether or not you want to use a custom FOV. I integrated a field of view modifier into the plugin. So if you want to use a custom FOV, uh, you'll just change use custom FOV to true, which in this case I want to. And then it'll use these FOV values here. So target FOV is what your normal FOV will be walking around. And then terminal FOV is what your FOV is set to while you're using the terminal. So if you have um, issues viewing the terminal, you can kind of play with that. Um, I would just recommend if you have a monitor like me, 21 by 9 and you want to use a high FOV just just modify the uh, target FOV to whatever you want um, so offset here this is the stuff you won't really have to touch the purpose of this section is when you are setting higher FOVs it, it only comes into effect when you have a higher FOV set over 66 and it'll just kind of Jimmy the camera uh, the first person view camera um, down a little bit and back a little bit. So, uh, ascent, or, uh, down and forward a little bit, sorry. These values, uh, determine how far the camera kind of gets jimmied in that direction because when you have a high FOV uh, and you sprint, you can see your player model sort of, uh, clip through your camera and it gets really annoying seeing the back of your head. <laughs> so, uh, that is to compensate for that. Uh, cam offset Z terminal is how far the camera is away from the terminal while you're using the terminal. So if you, again, run into an issue where the camera is too close to the terminal and you can't read it well for whatever reason, uh, you can manually set that. And that is in, these are all in meters. So it'll go back uh, 0.15 meters from the terminal. And then this cam offset Z moves it forward 0.1. And uh, cam offset Y moves it down 0.1. All right, here's this juicy part, resolution. So basically, this first value here, res div, means that while you're playing the game, how pixelated is the screen going to be? It's going to uh, take your monitor resolution, and it's going to rescale the game to your monitor. And it's going to look really nice, really clean, no real noticeable pixelation effect. But if you're like me, and you enjoy the pixelation effect, you can change this res diff value. So I'm going to change it to 4, just so we get some pixelation, um, and I get that retro feel. Use custom dimensions. So the plugin has built in dim uh, monitor detection, so it'll automatically detect what your game should be running at. But on the case that you want something custom, um, or if it's not working properly for whatever reason, you can change the custom dimension, uh, use custom dimensions value here to true. And then you can put in your uh, width by height. So. I just have it defaulted to what my monitor is, which is 3440 by 1440. But you can change that to whatever you want, and it'll manually uh, override that. So I'm just going to change this back to false, because auto-detect works perfectly for me. And now on to our last section here, UI. So UI, um, you can adjust some of the stuff here. And I uh, had this idea from another <laughs> person who also posted an ultra wide mod at the same we literally posted our mods within two hours of each other so that was really funny um but i took some uh inspiration from their stuff and you can change your ui scales and you can change your uh, aspect ratio so you can change your ui to however you want it to be 
And a little extra feature I added is the visor, which I'm going to turn to false because personally I think the visor is tacky. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the visor overlay that simulates sort of the inside of your helmet view around the edges of your screen. So I'm just going to turn that to false and now we save the config. All right, now uh, oh wait, what, 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 did I, did I actually save the config? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saved the right one. <laughs> so we're going to go back and launch the game. And now at this point, I'm just going to show some gameplay. So that should be all you need to do. You're all set up to use the mod and I hope you guys enjoy the mod and if you have any suggestions for stuff for me to add, feel free to leave a comment. And yeah, this is my first ever mod that I've made for a game that I'm publishing. So here we go. You can see the kind of the FOV is taking effect. The pixelation is taking effect. Basically, I'm at a quarter of my resolution by setting that to four. Here's the terminal. Um, the scanner works. You can see all the nodes here, and yeah. So again, if you don't like this pixelation effect as much as I do, um, then you can just leave that res div to 1 and it will be very sharp for you. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the mod again, and I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving for all you Americans out there. And, uh, yeah, catch you next time. <laughs>